I made a $10,000 mistake on this project. You're not always gonna be in the best mood. Real estate is gonna kick you down quite a bit. It just definitely can get stressful, so I guess I just wanted to share with you guys that uh, down moment that I had because um, you know, when you have those kinds of things, you just gotta remind yourself, like, you're gonna have those moments, but. All right, good morning, guys. It is 8.30. Yeah, we just hit 400 subscribers on the channel, so thank you guys. Thank you all you new subscribers for watching my videos and choosing to subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. Um, it's pretty crazy. It's been a few weeks, I think, two weeks, maybe a couple of days uh, since my last video. I have been like full force into the uh, fix and flip project that I've got going on right now. And then if you watched my last day in the life video, um, you'll know that I had a couple clients that were looking at properties and also wanting to list their property. So I had two listings going up in that last video. And uh, thankfully, they are both closed. So I'm pretty excited about that. It's cool to kind of like go back and, and watch that video and you know see the very start of it. And those two came from an open house. So I got two open house leads for clients that wanted to buy and sell. And um, you know, I just spent one random Saturday and Sunday uh, holding open houses and I ended up closing two deals. And they, they in total, both sales were 800, almost, almost $925,000 in sales volume off of an open house. And one of those clients I'm actually going to see right now, I'm picking up her lockbox. Um, she was listing and she also wanted to buy. So we're actually under contract on her replacement property as well. So that will close at the end of this month. So right now I'm on my way to pick up the keys from her and get the lockbox off of her door uh, since it's officially closed now. And um, I have a couple of showings this morning with a buyer that I've been working with for quite some time now. We've seen, I wanna say like close to 30 properties. Um, the market's pretty crazy in the price range that he's in. So it's been hard to get him an offer accepted. I think we've written about four or five and uh, they've all been beaten out. So um, we're gonna look at two more today. I hope that today is the day that we write an offer and it's accepted for this guy. And then uh, along with that, I'm gonna be stopping by my fix and flip property to uh, kind of give you guys an update on what's been going on. Like I said, I've been working on it quite a bit, so it's actually been moving pretty quickly. And uh, I'm really excited to show you guys the progress of it and you guys can kind of go back to the video, um, my last video where I showed you the walkthrough um, when the work was kind of just getting started. So I thought I should pick up the camera and start filming a video because again, it's been a couple weeks and since I last uploaded, we've actually hit 400 subscribers. So I just wanna say thank you guys for subscribing. Um, road to 1,000 subscribers still. And uh, yeah, welcome to another day in my life. Alrighty, lockbox secured. I also had to pick up a check now we're on to the showings. I need gas. Oh, we're to be there by nine. I've got 13 minutes to get gas and be at my showing. Let's go. Got gas. And I'm a little early. So yeah, we're here right now waiting for the client to pull up. And uh, yeah, this is not very promising in my opinion. Uh, it's right off a busy road. I don't know if you can see, see how many cars go by. Zero. <laughs> this is a main road uh, in our area. So, I don't know, he might not like it very much, but it's available, so he might, who knows. But yeah, I'm pretty tired. So, this morning has been kind of a drag. Like, this morning I woke up and I spilled coffee all over my keyboard, and the keyboard was $200 because I'm a bit of a gamer. So, I had a gaming keyboard, and uh, yeah, I spilled coffee all over it, and it short circuited out. So yeah, that kind of sucked, but uh, now I get to get a new one, so I don't know. All right guys, we're at the flip house now, and I'm gonna be honest, I almost stopped filming for the day because when I got here, just a couple of things were wrong, and uh, a couple of things have been going wrong on this project, so I was in a bad mood. And uh, the project's going great, I just have this really high expectation of myself to get it done super quickly and do it all perfectly and have nothing go wrong. And that's not really ever the case with these projects. Everything really <laughs> usually goes wrong and you have to problem solve. Um, if you watch my first video of the walkthrough, I kind of explained that. You're always on your toes with these projects and always kind of problem solving when things come up. So 
that's a bad expectation to have. But yeah, I almost stopped filming because I got kind of in a bad mood because this morning, again, I spilled coffee all over my keyboard. Um, the two showings were both kind of duds. Like, I don't think we're gonna be writing offers on them. So that was just an hour of my time that I spent that will amount to really probably nothing. Um, and then walked in here and a couple of things were going wrong. So I was thinking like, just in a bad mood. But if I only showed you guys the highs of this business, you guys wouldn't have a realistic expectation of what this business really is. And a lot of the times there's a lot of, you know, ups and downs. So I'm gonna continue filming and show you guys kind of some of the stuff that I'm dealing with. So I made a $10,000 mistake on this project and I'm about to show you what that is, so. So my problem is when I walked this property originally, I had a different idea of what I was gonna do with the property. Originally, I was just gonna put in a light remodel and then resell it for a lower amount. I think I was budgeting around forty-five to $50,000 um, into this house and then reselling around 500. I had a property on the same road as mine sell for higher the same week that I closed on it. So the last week, my kind of plan went out of the window. I ended up putting a little bit more money into the property and now I'm gonna to try to resell it for a little under five and a quarter, so 525,000. And so with that in mind, here is my $10,000 mistake. All of this walkway from here, from the door, all the way to the street, all the way to your driveway is just crumbling away. So as you can see, it's just like, all this rock is loose. I don't, this wouldn't even really pass an appraisal. And then unfortunately, it's also the same on the driveway. So I had guys kind of clean this up and you can see when they did, it just started to break off all this rock. So this is an aggregate finish, I guess. And so um, if it's not sealed right, uh, during the winter it'll start breaking loose pretty easily and this home was built in the 70s so through over that many years um, it's been breaking loose and getting water inside the concrete and so now it looks like this really didn't think i was gonna have to do this but um now i know that i absolutely do have to do it and i've had contractors come out i've had five different contractors come out here to give me bids on it and that's what you always wanna do on these projects. You never wanna go with the first bid. You always wanna get a couple to get an idea of if somebody's overbidding you or if they're right on par with what everybody else is bidding you at. But you always wanna get a few different opinions. So I've had five different contractors out here to give me a bid to redo all the concrete. Three of them gave me bids for $15,000. One of them came in at 10,500. Now usually the lowest bid is not always the best bid to go with because obviously you get the quality that you pay for. But this company that I chose, the lowest bid was 10,500. I went with these guys. They're a very reputable company. They were actually recommended to me from somebody in my office at HomeSmart. So I know they've been used before. So thankfully I had one bid come in, you know, $5,000 lower than all of the other ones that I got. But that is an expense that I did not think I was gonna have to have. Today I just decided to go ahead and move forward with his bid, so that's a $10,000 mistake on my part. Luckily this project is making you know, such good margins on what I've put into it and what I'm reselling it for that you know, it doesn't really matter all that much. It is a hit off of profit, so that kind of sucks, but it's still gonna make money regardless. So, I mean, if you can imagine, that was pretty stressful. Uh, over the last few days, just kind of going through with these contractors and getting these really high bids uh, to redo all this and knowing that you don't really have a choice, like you have to, you know, or I have to do this uh, for the end buyer. So whatever the bids came in at, I was just kind of stuck with. So thankfully, again, I got one that was a little bit lower and 10,000 is kind of what I was ballparking it was gonna cost. So um, thankfully I'm a little more comfortable with that, but still it's $10,000 that I did not plan on spending. So yeah, now I'm just gonna get to work guys. I'm gonna, you know, start trimming out some of the doors and just kind of carry on with my day, try to get in a better mood and a better mindset. And uh, hope you guys kind of understand like in this business, it's not always, you know, a high. You're gonna go through these ups and downs, but you know, the highs are worth all the lows basically. Wait, no, the lows are worth all the highs. Yeah, the lows are worth all the highs. So once you reap the reward of all your hard work, uh, it pays off. But you definitely will go through it from now and then, and that's kind of just part of the game. But now I'm gonna get to work. I'm gonna just uh, put some music on and just try and focus up and get some stuff done today. So let's get to it.
Hey guys. So it's day two now. Uh, my camera died. I did end up getting a few clips of me working on the property, um, but yeah, my camera died, so I couldn't film the entire day, which is fine anyways. I ended up leaving the, the property after working, and um, we had a birthday party for a family member, so um, not too much went on yesterday other than that. So um, I do have some good news, uh, an update from the concrete that I was telling you about. Um, one guy that I was looking like I was gonna hire, um, he was gonna be out about a month, which would really suck because I should be completely done with the property in about a month. So if I was waiting on the concrete guy for the very last thing, um, that would suck. And then also it's kind of weather dependent. So <clears throat> if it's not sunny, which it usually really isn't where I live, um, they can't pour the concrete. So they could start it next month, but that's if it's sunny out. So um, I was not looking forward to that. Luckily my fiance was very, very helpful and she ended up calling a bunch of people and the very last guy that went and looked at it for me uh, gave me a bid that was actually a, a few hundred dollars cheaper and he was able to get me in in two weeks. So um, that's very, very cool. I'm very excited and thankful that uh, my fiance kind of put that together for me. And so yeah, he's gonna start the demo in about two weeks on that. And uh, as long as it's sunny, he can pour it the very next day. So. Looking forward to that. That kind of shaved off a little bit of stress that I was telling you guys about. So yeah, now we're kind of back on track a little bit. Um, I still have that expense over my head that I didn't plan for. So still a little bit stressed about that, but overall the property is looking very, very good. Um, the market's still doing well for sellers. So I'm just looking forward to getting it done and uh, you know listing it. So, but yeah, so today I'm gonna take you through a little bit of my day again. And that's kind of how these videos are going anyways. I usually film about two days of my life and then kind of compile the best parts of them together. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys yesterday that you're not always gonna be in the best mood. Real estate is gonna kick you down quite a bit. Um, before that, I had three transactions terminate before I had one close. Um, one failed to finance at the very end, so we were supposed to have closed, and then the day after our closing date, we were told that they failed to finance, which I think is pretty rare, um, but that did happen to me. Um, and so, yeah, I've had, I've been kicked down quite a bit this last couple of weeks, or I should say last couple of months. But um, I finally had two close. I'm very thankful for that. The project's going well. I just gotta kinda keep looking at the uh, positives and you know try to not be so negative about all the little losses or you know headaches because overall like real estate's been really good it just uh it just definitely can get stressful so i guess i just wanted to share with you guys that uh down moment that i had because um you know when you have those kinds of things you just got to remind yourself like you're gonna have those moments but it's important to just keep your head on straight and you know figure out what you need to do in that moment to make yourself uh, feel a little bit better whether that's taking a break um you know going to the gym whatever it may be um you know your problems will be there but you can come back to them and solve them when you have a better mindset so that's kind of what i did i just ended up taking time off work going to that birthday party and now i feel really good i'll show you guys all the updates that i got done um while i was working there and yeah, today I'm just gonna do a little bit more work there and I'll show you what I get done. And you might be asking yourself or thinking to yourself, Jaden, that's a lot of shiplap for one house. It is, yeah. Yeah, it is. All right, guys. I'm probably not looking my best right now, so don't judge me. Yeah, so I just wrapped up for the day. It's about 4.30, I've been here pretty much all day. Um, but I ended up getting a good portion of the shiplap done in here. And um, I left it from here because I'm gonna install new uh, valves that will be a little bit more like modern. It's gonna be this here. So a little newer and that way it'll 
again, just like update the house. And then I ended up moving on to doing some of the trim, like around the baseboards. Um, I got really bored doing the shiplap because that's kind of the only thing I've been doing the past couple of days is this whole wall here. So moved on to doing some of the trim around the doors and then I got uh, some of these doors down here done. So yeah, it's looking really good. That's pretty much gonna do it for the day. I might have a couple of showings tonight, so I need to get home and shower and stuff. Um, but I'm probably gonna wrap the video up here, guys. I don't want it to go on super long. Um, I just wanted to touch base with all of you. Thank you all again for 400 subscribers. Um, you guys are awesome, and just wanted to put together this video, kind of give you an update on the project, and share with you kind of what's been going on the last couple weeks. So uh, yeah. Stay tuned for another video based on the project. I'll update you guys next week on what happens. Countertops going tomorrow and uh, should start looking really, really good here in the next couple weeks. So, but yeah, that is going to do it for the video guys. Thank you guys for watching once again. And as always, I will see you in the next one.